Hello, welcome to Agronomy for Future. This YouTube channel is linked to Agronomy for Future website. For more details, please visit agronomyforfuture.com. Thank you. Hello, welcome to agronomyforfuture.com. Today, I'll be introducing how to easily transpose column data into rows. Sometimes, I see many people managing their data as columns like the example below. It seems convenient because we can see our data all at once. However, this data format is problematic for data analysis, which fundamentally relies on variables, namely independent and dependent variables. In the given data format, each level for the independent variable, for example, location, was not combined in one column, and therefore we need to rearrange the data format. If the number of columns is small, copying and pasting to rows would be feasible. However, with hundreds of columns, it would be impractical to copy and paste them one by one. Today, I will introduce the simplest and most efficient way to transpose column data into row data. Using the query function, we can quickly transpose column data into row data. First, select the entire data you want to transpose by dragging over it. Then, go to Data tab and select from Table slash Range. You will see it displayed. Then, click OK. A new window, called Power Query Editor, will open up. Let's now select all of the location columns, from Location 1 to Location 12. After selecting all of the location columns, go to Transform tab and select Unpivot Columns. Automatically, all of the column data will be transposed into rows. We are currently in the Power Query Editor. To exit this window and apply the changes we've made to the original data, click on the Close and Load button. Great! The new data format is now ready. Now, let's explore how to achieve the same result using our Studio. First, we need to upload the Excel file. In order to transpose all of the column data into rows, using the Reshape2 package, we need to install the package first and run the following code. All of the locations have now been transposed into rows. Next, I'll change the column names. After that, I'll export this data to an Excel file on my PC and save it with the name Yield Data. Starting now, let's avoid manually copying and pasting data to transpose it from columns to rows. There are many intelligent techniques available for this task. For more details, please visit agronomyforfuture.com. Thank you.